Hello everybody, Rebecca here for Mama's Treasures. Thank you for joining me for another pre-recorded sale. This is going to be a $2 clearance sale. We've done a couple of these in the past and they've been a huge success, but this is the first one that's going to be pre-recorded. So the way we do this is we sell everything for $2 and then we give it an item number. And the way that you're going to claim the item is by commenting the item number in the comments section of the video. So I will screen through the comments and the first person that I see to type in, say, the number 28 for the specific item number will get the chance to purchase that item. So a few things that I wanna clear up before I get started, and it's gonna be fun. I've picked out some really great things. Um, is that we ship from Saskatchewan, Canada, and I used Canada Post to ship all of my items. And we're starting something new here. We're not going to be invoicing until the end of two weeks. So today is the start of a new two week segment. And there's going to be three sales with this one included in that three week segment. So you will not receive your invoice until the end of the three weeks, unless you want it earlier. If you do want your item sooner, let me know and I can definitely get an invoice uh, made out for you. So the pop-up sales today, Monday the 17th, our Saturday scheduled sale for the next two weeks. Those items, if you come back and purchase with us in those three sales, will be invoiced and shipped together. Uh, just a way to save you on shipping and we're going to be uh, canceling the free shipping on every sale um, because this is a better way to save everybody shipping not just one person so um, if you have any questions and if I forget anything definitely contact me with the email in the description but uh, if you haven't bought with us before you can register using the email that's in the description and let me know what your PayPal email is because that's how we receive payment and that's how we invoice. And also um, let me know what your YouTube name is so that I can verify that it was you who commented for it. And also your real name and mailing address if your YouTube name is different than your real name. Okay, so now that that is all out of the way and I think I got everything, um, we're in Canadian dollars. I'm not going to be saying two dollars, two dollars over and over again. Everything is two dollars for the specific item number. Some things have more than one item in them, but it's still two dollars for the item number. So I'm going to start with some fabric remnants, and I did not measure these. I'm not even going to venture a guess on how many feet there is in here. This is how we found them in the estate home, and I I just know that they're vintage. This one is um, a great, uh, I'm, I'm thinking like a stretchy polyester type of a fabric. Um, I think lots of ladies uh, made dresses out of this type of fabric. So there is a really good chunk of this fabric here, and this to claim this item is number 71. All of the items will be listed um, in the description. I won't write like what it is, but I'll have all the items numbers there. And if it's sold, I'm gonna put sold beside it or claimed, something like that, because you're not paying until <laughs> the end of the two weeks. So the next piece of fabric here is this um, really a great, um, now I'm gonna try and get it closer to the camera so you can see this. It's a really, really fine polka dot pattern. This is a piece of cotton, and again, a really good chunk. It was originally bought at McLeod's for uh, six yards. I do not know if that's actually what's on here. Um, I, would, I would imagine that if the tag is still stapled onto it, it would be the full six yards. So to claim that piece of fabric is number 78. The next pieces of fabric are actually two of the same, so this one has been cut into, 
but there's still two really great pieces here. This one's folded inside out. So this is what the pattern actually looks like, a really lovely purple floral. This again is a cotton. So there is this quite big chunk, and this is the smaller of the two. And then there is this one, also folded inside out. I'm not quite sure why they did that, but it, it's really, it's that um, same purple. Now where would I find it? Here we go. That really, really nice purple color of flowers. And to claim these two chunks of fabric, they will be item number 76. Okay, I'm just gonna grab out of my bucket here. Um, next up, I have two doilies. This one is, these types of doilies that are put together are great. You can cut them apart and use them in fabric journals, or it's just a very great functional doily just on its own. It's probably about 12 inches by six inches, if I would venture a guess. Um, and then there's this one, probably double the size of the first one. Again, great for uh, the center of a table, um, but also you can cut it apart and use the pieces in it for crafting if you so desire. This one is a cream color. Um, there are no flaws on the doilies, so they are definitely great functional decor pieces still. And um, those will be item number 82. Next, I have a pair of wooden painted salt and pepper shakers. I think these are supposed to mimic a cream can. They have red stoppers. These are probably from the early 90s, if I would, if I would guess. They are, they are, um, I don't know if that's an artist's signature or what that is, but they're really nicely done with the beautiful um, florals on them and it's that dusty rose that was so popular at that time these to claim will be item number eight next up I have this teeny tiny little solid brass bell it is super tiny it's maybe one inch tall um, but it rings so nice. I thought that would be so cute to put on your bedside table uh, just to get some attention. Um, but yeah, there is the there is the little dinger in there and it is solid brass. So this little bell is number 39. Next I have this um, oval dish. I didn't sell on my last live sale, so I'm putting it into the clearance sale. There is one little flea bite right about there, um, but it's not sharp, but uh, I don't know if you can even see it. Yeah, there you go. Um, so I don't know anything about this dish. Um, it's just a clear glass oval dish, and it is item number 79. I'm getting lots of the 70s out of my bowl. Okay, next up I have a piece of organza trim. This is all one piece and I did kind of measure it against my arms. Um, an arm length to me, a really good stretch of an arm length is about a yard. Um, this one has about six yards on it. It's this really nice organza ruffle trim in a very pretty blue color. This one is item number 43. Sticking with the lace, I'll do the cream colored one here. This one has about eight yards on it. Again, a continuous strip. And this is what it looks like. Really pretty cream color. Great for crafting or for sewing. This one is item number 60. I've got this uh, men's scarf that didn't sell in yesterday's live and I'm putting it into the sale here. Um, it's about 10 inches wide and maybe three feet long. 
um, I believe this is wool. It's just that classic checkered wool scarf and it is going to be number 54. Um, okay, oh, this is fun. <laughs> These are a pair of women's stockings and I think they're, they've gotta be brand new. They do not look like they've been worn at all. Um, they are, you know, that those thick, the thick stockings and um, it's that, uh, the camera's not really showing up right, but they're, it's that nude color and they're just the thick, really stretchy tights, if you can see that. Um, and they're probably about knee high. Those are item number 12. More lace. Uh, these are new in the package. They're from the Crafts brand. This one is um, fabric trim. It says it's 36 inches long. It's like brown and burgundy. These are great for trimming out pillows. And then there's this type of crochet trim. This one says it has two yards in it. Um, so for these two packages of trim, item number 90. Next up, I have some photo frames. I'm going to lot these together just because they are the same. Um, I do believe they're used. I took them out of their boxes and they look to me like they had been set up and used at one point, but they're completely, they're completely complete. <laughs> this one, um, they're plastic photo frames. Actually, I'll just take one out here so I can show you properly. So they're like a smoky plastic color and they have a glass um, a glass frame, but you take this portion off and you can either clip it in so the you can have the picture standing this way, or you can clip it in to have the picture standing this way, so vertical or horizontal. There is the, what size frames? This one's five by seven, this one is three and a half by five. And I believe these are from the 80s. So both of these frames are item number 72. Next I have this really old mother, um, mother print. I'm not sure if you can see the age there or the name. I think it's just a paper picture, but it is um, a poem to mother, and then it has this really old wooden goldish kind of a frame, and this is how it was mounted. Uh, this is probably about eight by 10, and this print is item number 56. Next, there is this milk glass tray, probably used to put keys in or coins. Um, this is what it looks like on the bottom, really pretty. It's got that like thumbprint. And it probably is about five inches across, four and a half, five inches. Uh, this milk glass dish is number 85. Next, I have some bridge cards. These are brand new in the package. Look, Sears, $1.99. Um, so there is two bridge score pads, 25 sheets ruled for three rubbers. And then there's this one from Hallmark, um, eight it says, and two table. So these two, that's the pattern on the second booklet and that one. Uh, this, this packet is number 86. more score pads. I've got these with the birds on them. Well, birds and an owl. And this is what the backs of them look like. More birdies and owls. These were 99 cents back in the day from Sears. There are 12 bridge tallies for two and three table progressive. 
So for the three of these are number three. Next I have this little Japan made pitcher. Really cute, it's, it's kind of rough. I'm not sure like why, but it looks to be hand painted and it is made in Japan. Uh, no chips or cracks on this one. It has like the pink trim around the top and the handle. This one is item number 100. Next up, I've got another item that didn't sell at yesterday's live. This is curtains. Four panels here. They're, this is 100% um, polyester. I think these probably be from the 80s, maybe 70s. So these, um, the curtain, this is where the curtain rod goes into. These two have the rusty orange top and then the ruffle at the bottom. And there is one applique bow in the same color on each of those center panels. Um, and then there is two kind of variegated pieces that um, get longer towards the towards the end like this is where the end of the window would be and then it goes up from the top it's really hard to show you but um, the ruffle goes all the way to the top um, this set of curtains is item number 40 next I have this large tray this is one of those, like, I don't know if it's some sort of board and it's painted. Um, really nicely done, the painting on here. I think they were Japan or Asian painted anyway. Um, but this one even has glitter in it. And it's um, plastic handles are intact. It's black on the back. Um, I think it's like... Um, not Barker board, but like the packed wood, and it's it's kind of shaped ovally. Um, I'm not making any sense, <laughs> but anyway, this this tray it's quite large, is item number twenty five. Oh fun! This is fun. Okay, this is a pair of super vintage men's swimming trunks. Check out the color. They are still stretchy. It's got that. Uh, the diving lady the Jensen diving lady on them so these uh, these are pretty sought after actually but they do have some uh, I think this is some sort of paint on it um, maybe he wore them to paint the house I don't know but uh, yeah it's uh, they're lined here and they're actually signed it's pretty funny uh, maybe he swam in school I don't know maybe he was a swimmer or a diver. Um, I do not know what size they would be, but they they are still in really great condition. And these men's swimming trunks are number 35. More men's clothing, very different than swimming trunks. These are suspenders. Check out the pattern. Um, it's got leather, um, I don't know, fittings. This is where they would go in the pants uh, buttons. And also here at the front it would go into the pants buttons. And these are leather. like So th this would have been a pretty good, pretty good pair of suspenders or set of suspenders. I don't know what you would call that. Item number 32 for those. Had to pause and get myself some coffee. I had to wet my whistle. I'm not used to talking so much. Okay, sticking with the men's clothing, I've got a whole bunch of men's ties up for grabs here today. These are absolutely vintage. Um, I don't know any year on them. Uh, they were found in a trunk. And if you are interested in men's ties, I do have more. I just picked out a few. So there's this one. This one's probably the widest of the ties that I have here today. And um, you can kind of see how long it is. This one is made by Av Avarts. 
and it is all silk is what it says. I'll just let you read the label there. This one is item number 29. And I'll just go through the ties since I have them all here and I'm talking about them anyway. This one is quite a bit thinner. I'll just grab this other one here uh, than the other one. So I'm, prop I'm thinking probably 60s would be the thinner ties. Uh, this one is um, Favorite Ties by Elite is what it says, Elite. It's just this blue with a kind of like a, um, I'm not sure, maybe a ribbon um, sewn up the top of it and it goes to the neck there. So this one is item number 51. This one is red and it has jumping deer on it. Kind of fun. Um, this one does not have a tag on it. Not that I can see anyway. Um, I haven't done anything with these. I haven't laundered them. I haven't pressed them. I do not want to ruin them. <laughs> so um, I will let the recipient do what they will with them. This is item number 17. I've got a paisley one next. This one, uh, this is what the, the front of it looks like. It's all the same material, kind of like this burgundy with uh, blue. I don't think this one's got a maker either. Tag probably was taken out. Yeah, I don't see a maker. This one is item number 14. A few more ties to get through here. This one is purple. Do you see the purple on it? It's quite nice. Um, it feels like silk as well. Looks like the maker was taken out of this one. Uh, but it's really nice. I don't want to say pretty, but it's really nice. It feels like silk. And it is number 84. A blue one is up next. Ooh, look at this pattern. That's nice. Look at the, like, the inlay of the fabric. It's quite nice. And that goes all the way throughout this necktie. Um, no maker again on this one. It is item number 61. Last necktie. This one has the same pattern throughout. It's almost like a leaf or a floral pattern. Burgundy and kind of goldish. And no tag again. Um, this one, item number 55. All right, let's get into something different. Here are some acrylic salt and pepper shakers. Super fun. Um, th so they stand like this, and here are the the holes for the salt and pepper. These are, like I said, they're acrylic, and they are item number. If I can just pick one out of my bowl, they're item number eighteen. If I can get it, there we go. Item number eighteen. Next, I have a very vintage hairbrush. These are so awesome for holding up ephemera or to put on, um, if you do a vignette with um, like a dressing table, it would be so pretty to put a picture in here. Oh, that would be so nice. Um, so the wood is really aged on this one. Um, it's not, you can see it's all peely, but it's not cracked or anything. The bristles are still in pretty good condition as well. This one is item number nine. 
at that. Isn't that cool? Item number nine. Next I have a Vienna crystal candle holder in its box. It's the Polar Light. This is what it looks like. I'll just take it out here. Um, it's, it's really heavy. It's substantial. Uh, you wouldn't want to drop that on your toe. <laughs> um, I don't think it was ever used. Uh, we tried selling it at the Vintage Mall and it didn't go, so I'm just trying to lighten our load here a little bit. So that crystal votive holder, I guess is what it would be, is going to be item number 24. An ashtray. Now, these souvenir ashtrays, you can see that it's wearing off. And I have found that if you um, rub this enough with a cloth, it'll actually just come off. So um, it can just be the pottery ashtray that it was meant to be in the first place. Uh, this one is McMaster KI Canada. It's redware. Um, it's got great, great coloring on it. No chips or cracks. This one is item number 77. Oh, these are fun. Okay, these are used vintage school books, school exercise books, and these were irises. Um, you've heard me talk about iris. Um, uh, she did some of the chalkware in the vintage estate home, and these are her school books. So fun. Um, look at, she did such neat work, and it's been graded. So fun, it would be an awesome flip through. Ooh, what did she get on her test? 99%, good job, Iris. Okay, so for these two school books, I'll show you the back. Our item number 30. I've got two Noritake plates. I don't think these are super old, but they're awesome to put your soy sauce in for dipping. There is the Noritake stamp. I think that's a newer Noritake stamp. So these two little bowls are number 99. Another book, or this one is a catalog, I guess. This one is from 1965, a Beaver Lumber Town and Country Catalog. This was so cool when I opened it up. They have the, the blueprints and the layouts for different houses. This is just so fun. Look, this one's called the Majestic Fur. This is the Joliet. I thought the Joliet was really pretty. And then they have a farm section. Just a really awesome, nostalgic flip through. Look at that living room. Um, and then it looks like there's paint samples in the center of it. Just so fun. Uh, so that 1965 catalog is number 67. And I'll finish up with the catalogs here. This one is Schwartz Iron and Metal Co. This one to mail it was two cents. So I wonder what year this actually was. It's like mail order. But uh, yeah, you could get all kinds of stuff. Really fun. Okay, so for this catalog, item number 57. This one, I I do not know what store this was for. It's a mail order catalog um, that would have been sent out at Christmas time. And I do not know what kind of store this would have been for. I cannot find it anywhere. It's the oddest thing. But the pictures and the prices, the items that they sold in here, look at that phone. Um, it's just such an awesome flip through. 
really, really cool. So, um, this store sold everything. I wish I knew what store it was. Um, so this one is item number 74. Um, this one, this is my last catalog. This one is Farm Supplies and Equipment 1964 from the Nestle Service Center. Phone 92. Yeah. So cool. And this catalog is two colors, red and black. farm catalog. That one, item number 80. These plastic salt and pepper shakers, they are apples and they are in their crate. Not a very big crate or very big apples to only get two in there, but they're marked S and P. The stoppers are in them. And the crate is um, it's like yellowy. I think it's made in Hong Kong is what that says. So probably 80s, I'm thinking. Just really fun for a, a harvest um, display. These are number 11. Next up I have fountain pens. And you'll get all of these writing instruments in the lot. I'll just uh, pull them out to give you a closer look here. Um, some of them have ends missing. This one is complete. Uh, I don't know anything about fountain pens. I just think they would look really cool in a display, sitting in a cup or something. Uh, this one, I, I don't know if it's supposed to be like that or how they work, but uh, this one screws on and off. Like They are in rough condition but they're old. So there's this one. Yeah, that one's like broken in half. Um, there's this one. This one, I think this one is a mechanical pencil. I think that one is a mechanical pencil. This one here. There is a box that would have had old leads in it, long thin leads, um, just some parts that maybe have fallen off. This one is just a really old pen, I don't think that's a fountain pen. Um, this one I think we opened, and then there's this one. Oh yeah, this is the one we screwed open. So then there's just some uh, random fountain pen parts. But this whole baggie is going to be item number I've got a vintage Hawaiian souvenir cup. This blue is fantastic. The glaze on there. Look at her playing her ukulele. I love it. Um, it's in great condition. That is not a chip. It's just thinner glaze. And uh, the other side has flowers on it. There is a little chippy here, but you don't even see it. Um, from the side. I love the palm trees on it as well. This is a great little piece. Two dollars. Item number 48. More drinking vessels. This is a Libby. Now, I'm not sure if you can see this. It's got the Libby, Libby mark on the bottom. There it is. And it has the gold rim. This is the Juniper. It's just this fantastic green color. Against my dark table, you can't really tell, but it is just such a fantastic green color. It's called Juniper Glass. And this cup is number 65. These are some vintage store advertisements. Um, they are like cardstock. Um, this one is advertising the clouds. You could get a round roaster for 88 cents, um, an oil filter element, 
Home Guard Roofing. The graphics and colors are so awesome. There's a few of these spring values from McLeod. A chest freezer for $250. A three room grouping for $450. A screwdriver kit for 82 cents. And then we have some trucker specials from McLeod's. Um, truck tires. When was the last time we bought truck tires for $26? Camper trailer for under $1,000. Wow. Um, and, and at McLeod's, like that, they had everything at McLeod's. Uh, this is a saddle, a dining room suite. This is again another spring, spring values. Here is a Mother's Day gift floral arrangements for $1.77. Some dinette suites you could get for 90 bucks, and some lamps for 5 Local Lucite Crystal. Oh my goodness, I would have loved to shop there. Okay, so for those advertisement pieces, item number 92. And I do have more of these. I have quite a stack. So if you are interested in more of these, I would pull out the same amount and sell them for $2. So just let me know. Uh, but these are number 92. Next, I have these candle holders. I have no idea the age on them. Um, if I can show you the glass mark, that might help you. I just, I know they're old because we found them in the attic of the home. Oh man, I can't even get the maker on there. Maybe it's there. Maybe you can read it there. But uh, they're in great condition. And uh, you can see that they would have um, had a, a taper candle because of the the pieces to hold it at the bottom. So these two candle holders are item number 10. Got a few more things to get through here and then I am done. Okay, you are going to get a steal of a deal on these cookbooks. These are home, Better Homes and Gardens. There are five of them, hardcover books. Probably would have been like a mail-in um, special. This is from 1981, the casual entertaining, the Italian cookbook from 1979, pork, sausage, and ham, 79, food processor cookbook from 79, and the blender cookbook from 71. So that's the oldest in there. So the five, five of the cookbooks from Better Homes and Gardens, item number 70. Next up, I have these two vintage plastic juice reamers. This one is like a really pale uh, salmon or blush color. And this one is red. Um, they are item number 95. I think I've only got three items left here. So I've got these metal, I don't know what kind of metal, but they're for the tiny, tiny little um, candles. These would be so cute in a tea party. Um, actually, they do have something stamped on it. It says made in England. Made in England and there is an item number that I cannot make out, but it says made in England on them. So just a really cute little goldish set. Metal candlesticks and they are number 21. I've got another oval glass dish. This one is that some of the sawtooth pieces on it have, this one's got a pretty good chip out of it. Um, just, it's old. It's an old piece of pressed glass. And yeah, it is, it's pretty, pretty awesome. This piece is number, if I can get my paper, number 22. And my last item in the $2 pop-up sale is this um, art piece, glass art piece, uh, a little trinket dish made into a shell. It's so hard to like actually show you how awesome this thing is. Um, 
it it's in perfect condition I, I don't feel anything wrong with it these portions have been pinched and it's just a lovely lovely little art piece item number 19 so that wraps it up um, so I will um, keep track of all of your comments and once something has been claimed I will mark it as that in the description box so you can peruse the comments and uh, the description box to see what is available and what isn't if you have any interest in um, I do have more ties like I mentioned and more of those McLeod's advertising um, brochures I guess you call them advertising leaflets <laughs> uh, those I do have more of everything else is a one-time deal so thank you all so much for watching and for supporting our YouTube channel we really appreciate it Jason and I and we look forward to talking to you during the week at the sales bye bye everybody <laughs>